Grocery store prices have been rising for months. In the last few months, have you noticed a change in grocery prices? Immensely, they've risen quite a bit. I definitely have to pick what we absolutely need instead of kind of what we want. Meat and veal jumped more than 20% between March and June. Poultry and eggs up more than 7%. Fresh vegetables and cereal also rising more than 3%. Meat and eggs, two things almost every family out there eats a lot of. Why are they seeing the biggest increase? They are very large industries that rely on workers and as a result of the COVID-19 infections that they had issues with keeping people on the line. It's also because of supply and demand. Early on, COVID-19 shut down meat plants, causing supply constraints. People are also eating out less, which means buying more for meals at home. But it takes time and money for manufacturers to adjust the packaging to be sold to grocery stores. The food that is distributed to restaurants are packaged differently. They're usually packaged in huge lots. But the spiking prices means many families can't afford to get the food they need. More than 29 million Americans said they didn't have enough to eat at some point in July. And food banks across the U.S. are overwhelmed. There's anonymity and uh, there's basically the ability to just walk up grab food and leave. A lifeline for struggling families who need it most. Stephanie joins us right now. Steph, walk us through this. What's the deal with these prices and are they expected to keep rising or is, it, or is there any sense that there's relief in sight? Peter, join me for an Econ 101 class. This is sort of mm. a classic supply and demand. When demand goes up and we know supply chain is stressed, there's a good chance you're going to see prices go up. And that's exactly what we've seen here. Think about the last few months. We have been eating home basically three meals a day, even more than that if you've got kids, because mine eat like machines, but especially at the <laughs> beginning of COVID. You know that, that shelves were being cleared at grocery stores, and that obviously impacts things. And if you think about the fact that we saw the spread impact meat packers, we know that impacted supply chains, the trucking industry, all of that has a trickle down. It's been harder to get the get those products to the grocery stores, and that impacted the prices. Now, the good news is we're starting to see manufacturer prices go down, and eventually that's going to make its way to retail prices. It just takes some time for the system to start to smooth out. Right. And, Steph, because all kids eat like machines, what are your strategies for minimizing those grocery bills? Like anything, if you're looking to save money, you must plan. Think about where you're shopping. Don't just go to your local grocery store. It may be a high-end one. Look for a discount store, a Dollar General or an Aldi. And when you're going to the store, think about your items and go for the generic brand. You know what's on your list. You don't necessarily need to go for the top brand. You just need the product. And think about that product. Go for pantry items. I'm talking your ramen, your mac and cheese, because fresh products, produce, meat, cheese, they've got real supply chain issues and they cost more. And the last thing I would say, try to buy in bulk. Even if you say, uh, we're just a couple, what are we going to do, buy a giant flat uh, of sugar? Well, consider buying with friends or neighbors, buy in large quantities, and then you can split things up and definitely save some dollars. Great advice. Stephanie Rule, always great to see you. Thanks so much. Yeah.